All right, here's a tutorial on how to use keyframes in Adobe Premiere CS3. It's you can uh, these can be used to make your footage bigger or smaller in the workspace up here. All you have to do to get to this is you have to make sure your effect controls window is on up in up here, and then you can click on your footage, double click, you'll get this bar, which just um, which will give you the boxes to make your footage bigger and smaller. As you can see, you can make it bigger to fill this frame if you didn't want the black bars on the side. And you can also you can make it smaller, and you can also move it on your X and Y axis. Also, if you want to use keyframes, you can make your video move. So let's say at the beginning of this clip, we want it to be down a small box over in this corner. What we'll do is we're going to turn on the position and scale keyframes here. All you have to do is click those, and you can see there's a little line now inside the little stopwatch. And also, you can see it added a keyframe to the timeline up here. So that's going to record where we have it right now. So now if we want to use our main uh, scroller here, we can scroll to the end of the clip, and now we can move the footage. We're going to move it up here, and let's also make it bigger. And so that, as you can see, recorded another keyframe at the end here. So now if we watch our footage in our main workspace, it's going to get bigger and move in a fluid motion as we do it, as it recorded the beginning and ending keyframes. You can also do frame by frame keyframes if you want to superimpose um, this over something else. All you have to do is you can use your left and right arrow keys, and as you do that, it's going to record a keyframe. And you can see on the screen, it'll mark where each one is. So now if you do that, you can watch your clip and it's going to go frame by frame where we wanted it.